Everyone knows I'm not the biggest fan of the X-Med. When it first started gaining popularity, I thought it was a solid tent, but for the most part, overhyped. X-Men, 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 I talked about all the things that I thought were lacking and even got accused of distorting the facts and using deceptive camera angles to make the tent look worse than it is. It's not an illusion, but that was over a year ago, and since that time, multiple iterations of this tent have come out, updated, and tweaked, and with this latest iteration, I think all my complaints have finally been fixed, except one. Okay, so first things first, you have to know which tent I'm talking about. Since the X-Men was first dropped on the popular community commerce site, drop.com, there have been nine different iterations, not counting small tweaks and updates that push those numbers up into the hundreds. Today, you can still buy seven of those, each of them having only minor differences. And those are all fine tents. I have used about half of them, and they serve their purpose. But there's only one of those tents that I think meets the criteria for the perfect backpack packing tent, balancing weight, headroom, and floor space better than any tent before. This is the XMID Pro 2 Plus. What does that even mean? Well, for years, people have been claiming that three-person tents are really just for two people, and two-person tents are really just for one person, and for the most part, it does feel that way. Even here, this is called the 2 Plus because it falls somewhere in between the typical two-person and three-person tent, or at least that's what they want you to think. In my opinion, this is the first true two-person X-Mid I have used, not counting the poly versions, which I've never used. Most of the so-called two-person backpacking tents are not much wider than about 40 inches. This allows for two 20 inch wide pads that for a long time was the industry standard. All because foam sheets used to come in 40 inch widths, brands would simply cut them in half and make two sleeping pads. Since that time, a large number of backpackers have begun to prefer 25 inch wide pads. Since the average man in America is 22 inches from shoulder to shoulder, that just makes sense. So to make the x a true two-person tent, they widen the floor to a full 50 inches to accommodate two wide pads and truly fit two people. This was my first major complaint when the x 2 Pro first came out. If I'm being honest, this feels just a little ridiculous. Why make the Pro just two inches shy of two wide pads? This has been the biggest deal breaker for me. Anytime I'm hiking with a friend, we almost always are sharing a tent. So a true 50 inch floor is really important to me, but it wasn't my loudest complaint. But first, let's talk about weight for a minute. Before the 2 Pro Plus, the best two-person backpacking tent I'd found was the Tarp Tent Dipole 2 Li. You may remember my video calling it the trifecta, because up till now, it was the lightest true two-person tent I had found, but the Pro 2 Plus beats it there as well, coming in a full 12 ounces lighter at just 19.2 ounces. Now for a tent this large to be that light is truly impressive. To my knowledge, this is the lightest true two-person tent in existence. Not even Z-Pax, which is known for the lightest tents in the world, has a true 50 inch wide floor tent this light. That leaves only one area left to beat, headroom. You ever have one of those days when it just won't stop raining and you get stuck inside your tent for hours on end? Wouldn't it be nice if you could watch a movie? This is the Caveman TV from Autotech. It's a simple little device designed to let your phone hang from the ceiling of your tent to allow easy viewing of movies and TV shows on your phone. And I know what you're going to say. I go into the backcountry to get away from stuff like that. But listen, when it's raining for days on end like this and you just don't feel like hiking in it, it'd be really nice to be able to watch a movie instead of staring up at the ceiling of your tent or falling asleep before nightfall. This is designed to hang from any two attachment points along the ceiling of your tent. But of course, the Pro 2 Plus doesn't have any way to hang anything from the ceiling of your tent. Not even a simple loop. Come on, Dan. So at first I tried to use just two small pieces of duct tape, which I don't recommend because it ended up tearing up the Dyneema on my really expensive tent. So instead I got a couple of clips and was able to clip it to the side of the tent, but they're big and bulky and a better solution is needed. Future Steven here. I spoke to Jeremy over at Adotech and he's already developed a patch so that if you want a ceiling loop on a tent that doesn't normally have one, you can easily attach one. It's got an adjustment system so you can adjust the viewing angle. So even if you're laying down, you can still watch TV with ease. Go check it out at autotechgear.com or through the link in the description.
Now, Headroom was my loudest complaint when I first reviewed the XMed 2 Pro a few years ago. I was trying to address a number of issues, including the misconception that you have to sleep head to feet in the XMed. This is not recommended by me or Durston Gear for a number of reasons. Mainly, it's very rare to find a completely flat campsite, which means someone inevitably will have to sleep with their head downhill, and that is just miserable. But when you put two people head to head, in earlier versions of the XMed Pro, one person is going to get a lot more tent their face just because of the geometry of the tent. But because the Pro 2 Plus has widened out the floor, that means the tent walls have spread out too. I've now spent multiple nights in the Pro 2 Plus sleeping on the side with less headroom and can definitively say headroom wasn't a problem, including when you have two people sitting up inside the tent. This is where I was accused of deceptive camera angles. I was comparing the XMed to its closest competitor, the Z-Pax Duplex. While the XMed is technically roomier on the inside, I felt the Duplex had more usable headroom because of where the tent poles are placed. You see, the XMed has a really unique geometry using offset poles to increase headroom front to back, but that actually ends up bringing the sides in closer together. I tried to demonstrate this using a ruler and ultimately decided that side to side headroom was too tight when two people are sitting up side by side, but that has also been fixed on the Pro 2 plus thanks in part to how much larger the tent is but Durston also brought the poles in closer together giving more side to side headroom in fact I recently spent several nights in the Pro 2 plus and never felt like we didn't have enough room and just for good measure I got the ruler out again and measured how much space there is from side to side at head height and it's about 22 inches wider than previous versions for a total of 46 inches at head height that's just two inches less than the duplex for a tent that weighs only 19 ounces this thing is just massive. These three areas are enough to make the Pro 2 Plus my new favorite two-person backpacking tent, but that's not all. And because that sounds like an ad, I want to be clear. Durston Gear is not sponsoring this video, but they did send me all these tents free of charge, including the one I said wasn't as good as the duplex and the one I destroyed on top of my car. That said, this tent has had every major and minor problem fixed. It's got two magnetic tie backs, full Dyneema floor, pockets, upgraded stitching on the corners, more headroom, floor space, and it's still lightweight. Now, if only there was a way to hang something from the ceilings, but we'll let that one slide. If you want to see my first video about the XMed 2, you can go check that out right here. Also, go check out Auto Tech through the links in the description. Thank you for sponsoring this video. Please like, subscribe, and do all those other things. And as always, Thanks for watching.